Gini aku kamu. eaten by our fear and difficulties in mathematics first. That is why we didn't notice that we had already even encountered math in our daily routines in life. Yes, so guys, we are here for you and Heidi to prove it. Because for today's video, in partial fulfillment of our project in mathematics in the world, modern world, we're going to explore and recognize math in our surroundings. Come and join us! Math is everywhere. We can see math on land, water, and every edge of our earth. Everything is embedded with math. Oh, there's a tree. I think these are mathematics in here. Give me a Um, let me think first. Ah, yes. <laughs> the first leaf has one leaf, the second has two, and the thre third has three. The pattern of the leaves is an example of a Fibonacci sequence, where we can derive a formula of n plus 1. So come on, let's go find some more of I think there's a mathematics in this coconut leaves. Yes, it has. Uh, from what I, we can see, it has small leaves to larger leaves. Yes. Math exists, right? There's, there's a fern. Let's find out if mathematics is in there. Let's go! mathematics that we can see in nature. As in flower. Fruit of a Nipa Holes of a Beehive
This is called a radial symmetry, where if you're going to tap your finger onto the water, we can see that it will create waves in a circular pattern. It creates small waves to bigger waves. Even in water, math is there, right? Now, we are going to try the colored water layering experiment. The materials are water, four transparent glasses, syringe, food color, spoon, white sugar, and dissolved chlorine. Now, let's do this! First, you will going to add sugar onto the cup with a pattern of how many amount of sugar we are going to put in the cup. So the pattern will be 2, 4, 6, and 8 spoon of sugar. Now, we will be adding water using a syringe into an empty cup. And when the desired amount of water is achieved, you will now going to pour the water with the same amount in each 4 cups. Stir them up. Now, we will going to go to the food color. First, you will going to add a little bit amount of water and then pour the food color on it. Afterwards, using a syringe, you will going to get color and drop it into the water. It also has the same droplets of colors and then stir them up. Same goes as the other color. After putting colors on each cap, this is how it looked like. We will going to pour first the fourth cup with eight cups of sugar first, first that it will not mix the other color. And then, as you can see, there are now other colors that is floating above. It is because one is denser than the yellow one. So, it do not sink. Then for our last step, we will going now to put the dissolved chlorine on it. Amazing, right? And now, this is how it looks like after we put all the four cups on it. Now, after putting the chlorine in it, this is now how it looks like. From two colors, it has now four colors. Yellow, orange, light pink, and dark pink. How is this possible? Amazing, right? Math is amazing, right? We should try to learn how to love, adore, and appreciate math. Then surely we can easily determine and recognize math.
that's it for today's video. I hope you learned a lot from us. Yes, see you on our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye!